Hello, hello, my lovely soul sisters, how are you all? So I thought I'd come on and do a quick video for you. I'm just drinking my lovely teolet, which is chocolate tea. And I've just finished our Motivation Monday video over on my profile, so do check that out. I probably will share it in here. But I wanted to jump on and do this video, and I'm gonna be doing a live video either on my profile or in here, or maybe even on my um, Lisa Barwise page. Uh, every single day for the remaining days in September. Might still go ahead and do it in October. My goal is to make it to 100, I've decided. So today's topic is why your beliefs limit you or how your beliefs limit you. And I think it's very timely because interestingly, I've been chatting to um, new potential sisterhood team members. I have been chatting to uh, clients, customers. I have been chatting to friends. And it seems to be the same recurring thing time and again is that our own beliefs are the things that are limiting us, whether we believe in ourselves, believe in um, what we're sharing, believe in how we're doing things, our beliefs around money, our beliefs around relationships, our beliefs around success, any of those sorts of things. So I don't know if you've ever heard about how your beliefs limit you, but I want to share how this actually works. So I have been studying human potential for the last 11 years. Uh, human potential is like personal development, but specifically with the focus of how we can be our best selves. So I studied and, and went and moved to New York um, about, let me see, would have been about 12 years ago. Um, it was before Josh was born. And um, I spent a lot of time traveling backwards and forwards, studying with um, the human potential and personal development company over there. And a lot of what we worked with and a lot of the things that we saw time and time again, as I began to work on my own coaching skills, was that my belief or my perception about life, about what I wanted, about what people thought of me, um, my beliefs around what I thought about money, what I thought about success, all of these sorts of things were actually the things that were limiting me. Normally, if we're in a place, so let's look at money as an example, always a good one to start. If we're in a place where we're struggling for money, if we're not in an abundant mindset, if we are struggling with money, then automatically we assume that everybody is struggling with money. So when we go to talk to people about a product that we're, we're, we're sharing, maybe we're sharing um, um, things that, are, that have a cost to them, um, we're gonna automatically try to soften it or we're gonna make it smaller. Uh, we're going to do whatever we need to do to not try to offend their money belief. When in fact, we have no idea whether they have that money belief or not. So when we go to talk about products, when we go to talk about um, uh, things that we want people to enjoy or we're sharing something, if we do that with the perception that they're not gonna be able to afford it and I really shouldn't tell them about this and maybe I should just talk about the price really quietly or maybe I should just tell them about the most, the cheapest thing that we have, then that's what you're gonna put out. Also, if you have the mindset yourself that you can't afford things or that you're struggling with cash, then that is all that you're gonna see in the world. So I see this time and time again with um, ladies as they are joining the team. I see it time and time again with um, actually with clients because the thing is, we don't know what's important to somebody. You know, having money is to do with value. Somebody either values something or they don't. Uh, they can grow to value something, you can change their mind about the value of something and educate them on it, but it's not the same as money. Money is just a representation of the efforts that we put forth to gain value in the world. So when it comes to this value, uh, sorry, when it comes to this value, it can also have a reflection of how much we value ourselves. So if we're not in a place where we're feeling confident or we have a lot of self-value, it can actually mean that we're putting that out in the world. Hello, Eleanor, who joined in. So this is how our beliefs limit us. So money is the, one of the perfect examples because it tends to be the one that comes up all the time. So if we're struggling with money, we don't have an abundance mindset, we are uh, worried about money or money is something that uh, has a... Um, is high is occupying you know, occupying a lot of space in our brains when we go to talk about products when we go to try to share something with somebody that has a cost involved we automatically think oh, they're going to have a problem with that they're going to have a problem with it so I'll just belittle it I'll just make it smaller it's a little bit like 
Um, and I'm just going to give this example. It's a quite a funny example. But have you ever gone shopping? I used to do this with my mum. I then did it with some boyfriends. Uh, uh, but I'm sure you might even do it with husbands. Is you would go shopping, right? And you'd go and you buy something. And it might have got it in the sale or you might not have. And did you really need it? Probably you didn't really need it. But you bought it because it was nice, okay? Because we're women and we like to buy things. And you come home and your mum or your partner or your husband looks at you and goes shopping again type of thing they look at you that maybe they didn't say that in fact they probably didn't say anything at all they just saw you were shopping bags and you automatically go into this defense of well it was in the sale in fact knowing that you'd paid 40 pounds for it it was only 25 pounds suddenly you diminish it and uh, you know i had to get it it was just going to look so good with this outfit and sure we've got this event coming up and suddenly you go into this justification mode can anybody relate this is what how our beliefs about things can and really they were maybe just going to say something like that's really nice or what did you buy or did you have a nice time today but because for whatever reason we're feeling sensitive about the fact that we spent this money or we didn't think that it was good value or maybe they, we thought they were going to think we're frivolous or do you know what i mean so this is how our beliefs can impact us when it comes to um, success when it comes to looking for the things that we want in life when it comes to sharing things when it comes to our business all of this sort of thing so what I generally say with regard when this, when I think about money or I, or, or I talk to people about something that has a cost to it I generally ask them it depends on your budget it depends on what you're willing to invest it depends on where you're at right now and what you're able to afford you know I don't want to be able to put people into financial difficulties but at the same time this product or this thing costs this amount so it just depends on what you're able to do and that is different to suddenly diminishing and reducing things and only telling people about things that you think that they can afford I made a wrong assumption one time when a, a single mom to four kids, I was talking to them specifically about the Juice Plus products and I would said to her, yes, you can get this product for you and you can also get it free for, for your kids and you can kind of, you can you sponsor one child, but you can kind of spread it out amongst those kids. Um, I said, and I was really a bit worried about what to say when it came to talking about how much it cost and this monthly cost of how much it was. And I said, you know what, that's gonna be 60 pounds a month thinking, oh, maybe she's not going to be able to afford it. And her response was, and I'll never forget this, that's fine. What I'll just do is I'll cancel the Sky TV because the kids need this nutrition more than they need their cartoons. And they can just watch normal TV. We don't need Sky TV. And it was just the way she said it. So her Sky TV, which probably cost around the same amount for her, she was like, we don't really need it you know, why do I have it? It is a luxury. Whereas nutrition, this health for her and her kids, this absolution of her mummy guilt and worrying about what her kids are eating. And that's how we did it. So I don't make assumptions anymore. I just let people know what it is that I'm doing, how much things cost, ask about their budgets, ask about what's important to them, ask about their goals, find out, talk to them like human beings rather than just be like, oh, I don't know. So this is what not letting your beliefs get in the way. So I always think about stepping out of a conversation in terms of what I want and just asking them about them. So, you know, what, you know, what do you need right now? Or what are you working towards? Or how can I help you to get there? What sort of time frame do you have? What budgets do you have? Um, and getting to know people a little bit more. And that is taking your own beliefs out of the equation. So I hope this was helpful. I just wanted to jump on. I am going to be doing live videos either in here on my Lisa Barwise page or on my profile every single day, more on mindset, more on um, helping people to be successful in whatever it is that they're doing, helping us to grow the sisterhood, um, helping us to, to build the team. So keep an eye on this. I look forward to connecting with you. I'm actually going to be sharing out over the next day or two how you can come and find out a little bit more about what the sisterhood is and how you can get involved. I'm going to be um, doing a Sunday training every single Sunday, uh, a presentation and a um and a training every single Sunday via the power of the phone and the internet. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I'm going to be sharing that pretty much, I think, tonight or tomorrow. So look forward to that. So in the meantime, enjoy your day. Can't wait to connect with you all soon. And let's just do that.